In this video, we're going to talk about how to make a simple bar graph in Excel. So first, let's uh, expand the width of this column. And let's do the same thing here. So the first column on the left will be used for the data in the x-axis. So I'm going to make this the month. And on our y-axis, it will be the sales for that month. And let's use the first six months. So January, February, March, April, May, and June. We don't need to go all the way to December. So we'll use the first six months in a year. And let's say the sales for January is 170 million. Now I'm not going to write 170 M. I'm just going to write 170, just so you can see how to make the bar graph. And let's say for February, the sales are 215. And for March, Let's say it drops to 200, and then April, 235, and let's say May is down to 190, and June is up to 250. Now what you need to do next is take your mouse and left click on the month, and then drag it to expand to both columns. And then go to insert, and then on the right you should see this bar graph. You can click it and then choose which type of bar graph you want. If you want a 2D column or if you want a 3D type of bar graph, you can choose it. Or 2D bar graph, that's horizontal or 3D. I'm going to choose the 2D column chart. And now you can make the graph bigger by dragging the corners. Now there are some other things that you can do. So if you click the chart, you'll see these three squares come up. And if you click the middle square, chart styles, you can choose different styles for your bar graph. So let's scroll down. This one looks interesting. So if you want to, you can click it or you can explore some different options. And so you could change the background and the look of the bar graph if you want to. So let's go back to the simple version. And then we could change the color. So you have different colors that you can use. Now, let's say if you wish to find more colors, let's say there's not enough in this list. What you could do is go to page layout. And then on the left, you could see the colors tab. And then you could choose a lot of other colors uh, for your bar graph. So let's say if you want orange red, that doesn't look like orange red. Here's red orange. Let's go back to that. Here's that does not look like red. But there are some other colors that you can choose in this uh, list. So that's how you can change the colors if you want to. So let's stick with that. And then if you click the top square with the plus sign, you can uh, remove the axes if you want to, or you can uh, use them. Let's say if you only want the vertical axis, axes, uh, you can take out the primary horizontal one, or you can add it back in. And then if you want the, the axis titles, you can add that too. So let's title this muff. And if we want to, we can adjust this hex size. You just got to go to home, and then you can make it bigger if you want to, or smaller. And you could change the type of text. So let's use Comic Sans MS. And then we could change the horizontal, I mean the vertical title. So let's make this monthly sales. And then the main title, you could change that as well. Let's call it Company Revenue. Now let's click on this. And let's, I'm going to change the color back to, so you have different styles of red here. But I'm going to change it back to blue. So let's go back to page layout. And...
let's see which one is better blue warm and notice that I have different shades of blue that I can use so now you know how to change the color if you want to now let's go back to chart elements and there's some other things I could do data labels if you click on that you can remove it or if you click the arrow to the right you can put it at the center at the top or at the base of the bar graph so I'll leave it at the center and then you could select data table if you want to arrow bars grid lines so you can add more grid lines uh, if you prefer to do that and then finally the legend you can put it at the right you can put it at the top at the left side at the bottom let's put it at the right side if you want to add the legend as well and so just by uh, playing around with this you can uh, do different things but that's a simple way to make a bar graph uh, using Excel so that's all I got for this video that's my two cents thanks for watching